Hi guys. <clears throat> um, I want to make a short video here about my Med Medtronic Mini Med 522. Um, I'm using this pump in particular because I need the older firmware on it in order to try to do an open APS um, artificial pancreas, which is a closed loop software system that um, reads what's going on with your continuous blood glucose monitor and then has a little bit of code that makes decisions about what to do with that information and then sends the commands to your pump. Um, so kind of automating um, the um, the treatment process. So the 522 pump, you have to be able to get a, a Medtronic 522 pump. You have to, it has to have an older firmware, 2.4. And um, when this pump gave me a button error, I called Medtronic and they said that that's basically like a fatal error. Basically you just ship it back and they replace it. There's no troubleshooting steps or anything like that. Um, but the thing was this pump was donated to me so that I could do this hacking. Um, I would have to pay Medtronic a $495 fee in order to have it officially donated to me. And at that point, they would probably just tell me that they wouldn't replace it with a 522. They'd replace it with a 523 because it's newer and they assume you want the newer one and you don't have any say in what they send to you. And so basically like a total closed door. Um, so my last ditch effort was to try to take this thing apart and get it working again. So I've got a button error and it looked to me like my problem button was my act button. So what I did is this turns out this top part is just a sticker basically. So I got a little paring knife and I just started kind of right under here in the corner and peeled it back. And then I saw this clear piece and I just kind of gingerly poked right under here and got it to lift just a little bit. And then I realized that it's one piece of clear. So it's going to have, we're going to have to take off the whole part. And then under here, this made me really, really hopeful because you can see on the act button compared to the other buttons, there's a bunch of this grit stuff on here. So I'm just going to try to take a Q-tip and just take some of that kind of um, nasty old junk off of there. Might as well do all of them while I'm in here. Um, and then I'm going to reassemble this and I'm hopeful that we're going to have regular function back with the buttons. We're going to clear that button error and we're going to be back in action. I'll let you know if it works in the comments. All right. Good luck. Bye.